I'm Denise Su. I'm the curator of paleobotany and paleocology, and we're down in the uh, paleobotany lab in the museum right now. We found a complete cranium of a juvenile ape, and we've assigned it to Lufon pithecus, Lufonensis. Uh, this is an ape, a Miocene ape, that was found in uh, in China. It's also it's named after the the type locality where it's found in Lufang, also in Yunnan province. And this was a discovery that we made in 2009. We've actually been working there since 2007. Um, and this is indeed a new discovery. It is uh, the only ape that's been discovered so far from that particular region in Yunnan. There are other ape specimens from other parts of Yunnan, which are a little bit older. And um, this is also the only undistorted juvenile cranium of this particular species of ape. And we know it's a juvenile because uh, most of his permanent teeth are still in the crypt. They haven't erupted yet. We have the permanent first molar, upper first molar, that's erupted. And uh, so we don't have the jaw, but it's just the, basically the, the rest of the head. And we CT scan the cranium, actually, and so we can actually see all the permanent dentition that's in the crypt. And that's part of our analysis as well as also looking at, at the CT scans. Um, of the internal structure. This is actually a really, really rich site. Uh, there are, we have lots and lots of fossils, mostly birds actually, water birds, which was quite astounding. Um, water birds, birds in general aren't really recovered that much in the fossil record because the bones are very delicate. And so this is an indication of the kind of habitat that might have been there. Other vertebrate animals, other carnivores, we have a lot of rodents as well and a monkey, which is also quite unusual because in other sites, uh, there is not a coexistence of monkey and ape at the same stratigraphic level. I'm responsible for the paleocology and taphonomy of the research, and paleocology is a reconstruction of past environments. And so I look at all components of the fossil record. I look at the, all the animals and the plants, um, and also integrate data from geology as well to try to look at what the environment might have been like when this ape was running around.